sex snack. We're back. It's too short to be serious. Say hello to Thomas. You've seen him before. Maybe. We did a fun little Mountain Dew review. Now we're here reviewing three new items from Red Robin. He's got loaded chips, which has beer cheese, bacon, uh, pickles, brisket. Can't forget the brisket. I think that's it. And then mine, I've got the pineapple up, down, upside down shake, which is in a red solo cup. I'll take it out for the thumbnail. Uh, we're going to get ready to do that soon too. But what that is, it's essentially cake and pineapple flavored mix into their vanilla soft serve, topped off with a pineapple and a cherry. So really interesting concept there. And then the big boy of the show, we got the Whis Whiskey River Barbecue Burger. It's got beef. Uh, what kind of cheese did it have again? Uh, chipotle aioli. It's got, I know that aioli, chipotle aioli, pickles, onion strings, bacon, jalapeno. brisket, jalapenos, and I think it's provolone cheese, but don't quote me on that. So we're going to go ahead and pose for the thumbnail here. And uh, he's got his thing, I've got mine. There you go. So here's a better look at the burger. Here's one more look at the shake, and he can give you a look at the chips. All right, so I guess we'll go ahead and start eating. I'll go ahead and eat my burger. Please hit that subscribe button. And check out my TikTok, Redneck Snack 98 Had a video blow up just recently where I dissed Tom Brady because he's not the GOAT. But he's pretty good. He's all right. But it, he, went, uh, it went viral. He got 11,000 views in a day. Yeah, hopefully it gets more. So here we go. I gotta give credit. They have a pretty thick, um, you know, burger. Like the the patty's pretty thick. The chips are uh, loaded with flavor. I mean, you can really taste the beer cheese. I mean, just the flavors just kind of flow through. Especially the one with the pickle. I mean, the pulled pork is great. Um, Definitely give it a 9 out of 10. Some of the best loaded chips I've personally ever had in my entire life. Never really thought I'd taste any with this good amount of flavor in them. I mean, the beer cheese just really makes it what it is, though. I mean, they're not too soggy. Uh, they still got a little crunch to them. Um, like you say, you can see a pickle in there, some pulled pork. I mean, it's pretty good. You sure did make a quick conclusion on that. I'm still thinking about what I think of this. It is loaded. It's very meaty. To the point where I wish it had a little bit more of those other ingredients. It doesn't have too much of a kick. Like it's got, you can tell it's there. You get the Chipotle flavors. It's, it's a good burger. I'll say that. I definitely couldn't have eaten that. Not today. Yeah, I mean, every bite is just loaded with flavor. I mean, just in the first four bites, I was able to make a really clear conclusion on really how they tasted. I mean... I'm very impressed, but Robin really knocked these out of the ballpark. Are you let to try? I'm free to try one now. Uh, I wish Take I one with all the stuff on it. Don't matter to me. I want, I want one with all the stuff on it. I just want, don't want to touch it all. Where's the chip at? I guess I'll just leave it. There's one right there with the beer cheese in it. Okay. All right. So, as for the burger, it feels like it's one of the Sonic burgers I've had, but on steroids. Like, because the beef is better, it's thicker. The quality of the meat is better. So overall, I, I think a 9 out of 10 would be good for that too. Because I've had just higher quality burgers. Like, I wish it was medium or, you know, medium rare. That would really be top notch here. But everything else is really good. And it's a very meaty sandwich. And I think it, it could, you know, use a little bit more pickles or a little bit more onion strings. But for what it is, it is a very good burger. Now I will see what I think of the chips. Yeah, yeah. You know, when you said nine out of 10, I was like, wow. You're really jumping the gun on that one. But that is actually really good. And it kind of has a little bit more of what I wish this burger did. You know, the beer cheese, and that sweet pickle that's on there, I just wish it was a little bit more loaded. So, you know, even though I think those those chips could use also use a little bit more variety too, I think they do pretty good. 
for, for what they are. So I agree with that. That's a nine out of 10 for me. And now I'm gonna top it off with some dessert. Now, last time I had a milkshake from Rude Robin, or the time before that, I can't remember. I really enjoyed it, so. I have some pretty high hopes for this one. I like pineapple a lot. What I really like about the brisket on this chip is that, you know, it's not too spicy, it's not salty. It's it, It's got that sweet and salty kind of taste to it. it I mean, <clears throat> It's, it's just all around really good. Just uh, can't complain anywhere. This is divine. You know Chad's, you probably don't know her, but Chad's grandma, Shirley, she makes this pineapple cake. I think it's got some orange in it too. But that kind of tastes like that. It's got the vanilla cake, the pineapple flavor. It does really well. It's a little too light for me, a little too smooth. But other than that, it hits right at home. It's a very enjoyable shake. And for that, I would give it an eight and a half out of 10. It is getting a little bit thicker the more I drink it, but it's a good drink, definitely worth it. So overall, I think Red Robin did a good job on all three of these items. Uh, if you're a brisket fan, you'll probably really enjoy the burger. I'm sure you'll enjoy the chips too. And that's definitely an appetizer that you could share with the family if you go in or whatever. This is a whole meal. I, mean, I could sit here and eat this whole thing. I mean, it's already pretty much halfway gone and it'll fill you up. It's yeah, I was thinking you probably would have been fine just getting that, but he got him a whole meal too on the side. So. Yeah, I got a chicken sandwich. But yeah, um, check Red Robin's new menu out. Should be around till, I guess, the end of May, maybe uh, mid-June, something like that. Then something new will come back, and I'll probably have a review for you. Maybe he'll want to join in again, but we'll yeah. see. It, yeah. was good, it, was good and it was a good review doing. And like I said, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you go to the one in Chesapeake, um, just uh, my sister-in-law works out there. Her name is Bailey. Uh, make sure to ask for her. You know, she's great at what she does, and she'll make sure to make sure all your Red Robin's needs at once are fantastic. And if you go in, you get bottomless fries. And man, I can't stop eating these. So Yeah, the steak fries are great. Kind of made me wish I had it gone in. But that was my choice. You have a choice yourself. So that's it. And I will see you around. And maybe he will see you around.